The other iterative method for solving systems of linear equations is Gauss-Seidel. Check how it works here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. The Gauss-Seidel method also starts with a check for main diagonal and specific variable dominances. The variable is also isolated for easier computation. Then just the same with the Gauss-Jacobi method, initial values are also incorporated, and for our discussion we will still have zero for iteration zero. The process of iteration itself is where the deviation from Gauss-Jacobi is reflected. The example we will use is the same system we had for the Gauss-Jacobi method. It is done in this manner, so you can distinguish the difference between the two methods. So after the checks, we identified the first, second, and third equations, where we isolate the variables such that from the first equation, x is derived as 1 fourth of 3 plus y plus z. The second equation contains y as equal to 1 sixth of 9 plus 2x minus z, and the third equation is z, which is equal to 1 all over 7 of negative 6 plus x minus y. Let's start the iteration by placing the three equations in a manner easy to iterate. Then we assume initial values of x, y, and z for iteration 0. Still, we are going to use 0 as our initial value for the variables. Now we continue with x sub 1 as 1 fourth of 3 plus y, which is 0, and z also as 0, so we get 0 0.75. Next is for y sub 1, which is 1 sixth of 9 plus twice of x, which should be the latest updated value, and that is 0 0.75 then minus z, which is 0, and this gives 1.75. For z sub 1, we use the equation 1 seventh of negative 6 plus the latest x, which is 0 0.75, minus the latest y, which was solved previously as 1.75, and this results to negative 1. The second iteration will also be using the concept of using the latest values of the variables iterated. So x sub 2 is a quarter of 3 plus 1.75 minus 1 and that is 0 0.9375. y sub 2 is 1 all over 6 times the quantity of 9 plus 2 times the new x which is 0 0.9375 minus negative 1 which results to 1.9792. Z sub 2 is computed as 1 all over 7 of negative 6 plus 0 0.9375 minus 1.9792, that is the new Y value, and we get negative 1.0060. We check the next iterations starting with X sub 3 with 1 fourth of 3 plus 1.9792 less 1.0060 to get 0 0.9933. y sub 3 is 1 6 of 9 plus 2 times 0 0.9933 minus negative 1.0060 to have 1.9988. Then z sub 3 is 1 all over 7 of negative 6 plus 0 0.9933 minus 1.9988, and we arrive at negative 1.0008. Then continue to the next iteration with x sub 4, that is 1 fourth times 3, plus 1.9988, minus 1.0008, which results to 0 
y sub 4 is 1 all over 6 multiplied by 9 times twice of 0 0.3095 minus negative 1.3008 and that gives 2. z sub 4 is 1 all over 7 times negative 6 plus 0 0.9995 minus 2 yielding negative 1.0001. We proceed to another couple of iterations. So x sub 5 is 1 fourth of 3 plus 2 minus 1.0001 and that is 1. y sub 5 is 1 all over 6 of 9 plus twice of 1 minus negative 1.0001 to have 2. And z sub 5 is 1 all over 7 of negative 6 plus 1 minus 2 and that is negative 1. At this point, you can see that the values are already constant. So even if we proceed to the sixth iteration, that is x sub 6 is 1 fourth of 3 plus 2 minus 1 is 1. y sub 6 is 1 all over 6 of 9 plus 2 times 1 minus negative 1 to have 2. Then z sub 6 is 1 all over 7 of negative 6 plus 1 minus 2 to have negative 1. Now the values can be concluded as x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and z equal to negative 1. You can see the difference that as early as the fourth iteration, the values have already stabilized, so Gauss-Seidel is a shorter method of iteration.